Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 109 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. I only 18k points though. GG. Wow, it could have been sub 50 if I didn't die. I got trolled pretty hard. Oh my god. Oh, that's like my first uh, kind of solo race drop. Not really. A 76. Jesus. Yes, that's a good spec. Ooh, 51! Oh my god, that's the highest I've hit with uh, adamant darts. Okay, I've not done Harpoos in a long time, but I realize I still need to get, I think, two more unique items from Harpoos for Masters. I think it is the uh, Black Dragon Mask and the Sammy Rune Full Helm, so I'll just keep doing these when I already have one at uh, Watson. Here we go. Alright, okay. Sammy Page, that's, that's always good, honestly. We'll take that, man. Alright, this is number four. Oh my god, seriously. Wow. I just need a black dragon mask and I just got two dragon masks and one heart clue. Wow, okay, that, that is definitely a tease by Jagex. I don't even know what number uh, chest this is, but here we go. Wow, today today is a good day to do heart clues. That's nice, man. That's my first ever glory uh, trimmed ever on any of my accounts, so... Alright, it's right after the glory trim, so here we go. Wow! Dude, what's up with, with these rewards? I mean, they're pretty good, honestly. Another Zami page. Oh, nice. It's the end of the clue. Alright, this is going to be my last heart clue for a bit, probably. So, let's see if we can end it on a really nice note. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh my goodness, man. Seriously. Glory trimmed. Two Zami pages. A clue with two Dragon Masks. Of course, not the one that I want. And a Robin Hood hat. Oh my god, that's my second one. Today was a great day to do hard clues. Alright, nice. Just got 89 fletching. So I'm running short on darts. Because I've been using them a lot. <laughs> So yeah, just making some right now. Almost another level 90 skill, 500k to go. Just got 88 crafting, guys. So that means two more crafting level to go until I can make the uh, bracelet. So I will show you right now how many flax is left. Still 82,000. <laughs> oh boy, when I first started this, uh, just the idea of it sounded really good, you know? Just, yeah, string all this flax. Uh, it won't be that hard. And uh, we'll get the 90 in, in no time. It's just really mindlessly just doing this same action over and over again. And uh, yeah, it's pretty painful to be honest. So I don't want to be procrastinating this crafting goal anymore. So I'm going to try to get at least 150k crafting experience a day. And I guess I will get 90 within about a week. Nice guys. Just got 97 wood cutting. So I'm back at the red root trees. They're amazing. I mean, I'm thinking the new graphical rework and an extension to this as well. They have like a second floor. So this is really nice. And uh, I've actually not been banking these logs. I've just been shift dropping them. Uh, pretty casual. Revy AFK. I'm getting easily over 60k an hour just staying in one spot basically the whole time. So yeah, one of the best AFKs that I've got. And uh, road to 99 woodcutting. Definitely gonna get there soon. 1.1 mil to 98. I'm gonna lower this guy over. Oh my god, it's 77. Fuck yeah, man. That's sick. Holy shit, my first ever solo raid with 30k points. No, wait, 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 wait. This actually isn't too bad. So, this is my first relics ever since they buffed them. So, ooh. What's the skill that I use here? Oh, you know what? I'll put on a Jody. Let's see. 11,000 XP. Yeah, that sounds good. This should be the cash, 27200, nice, nice, nice. So, that means one more level to go and I can catch Chinchampa. So, I am doing this consistently currently at 110k experience an hour. So, yes, I will be getting it in just under an hour. And this is it. I'm done. 73 Hunter. And now I can catch Black Chinchampas. That's gonna be interesting considering how it's gonna be uh, pretty high up in the wilderness here right around here and uh, it's a pretty popular spot for PKers for sure 
But since I can access 2k total world, I guess I don't really have to worry too much about PKers. But either way, I'm gonna obviously uh, get myself some imp boxes and uh, equip myself well before I go do that. So I'm gonna be using a setup similar to this uh, for when I hunt shins. Uh, the biggest thing obviously is the Din's Bulwark. So you might be uh, asking, why not try using something like a Zamar Godsword? So like, uh, what you would be using the Godsword for is to freeze your opponent. So let's say a PK comes and attacks you. Uh, basically, you can freeze him, and the freeze will last long enough for you to go under him, and he can't do anything. And yeah, basically, you can log off and switch to another world uh, relatively easy. Now, I just don't want to risk it because like I might accidentally skull, and yeah, if I like fuck up and I die for whatever reason, I have a good chance I'll lose it. So I'm gonna be using the Dins instead to tank. So around this area is around 30, low 30 wilderness. So I should be able to tank enough to get to 30 wilderness relatively easily, either to teleport or to use the inboxes to uh, send the Chinchampas to the bank. And uh, basically I can never skull with the shield on as long as I'm on this defensive because the thing is I can't attack no matter what. Look, I can try my best to attack, but see, being in defensive, I can't even attack at all. So even if I misclick, nothing happens. I can't get sculpted. And this thing has a lot of defense. And uh, being on defensive also means any damage I take with the Bulwark on is reduced by 20%. So yeah, I will have a really easy time to tank pretty much almost anything. So surviving won't be too big of a deal. And I'm pretty sure there will be times when PKers come and try to PK me. So I guess I'll show how it all works out, I guess, when it actually happens. Alright, I have basically a full inventory of the imp boxes, so that's 26 of them, I can bank 56 times. Okay, nobody's here. But yeah, only level 32 wilderness, man, that's so easy to teleport out of. Only two levels I can just walk straight back? You know, like, right here should be level 30, so... It's gonna be really easy to tank, you know, I brought my anglerfish combo with Bruce and all that stuff so uh, we should be good all right i caught my first hundred and holy shit i forgot how expensive these chinchampas actually are so i'm gonna go ahead and bank 100 like seriously that's insane amount of money 274k just for 100 yeah i'm definitely just gonna bank 100 every time oh okay we got ourselves a uh <laughs> PK, but he cannot attack me for shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, got my first hunter level hunting uh, black chins. So I think I've caught like almost 300 now. I think 200 and like 70. But yeah, that's really nice. I don't have to catch that many for levels. 361 to catch, and then I get 75 hunter. Oh, easy uh, total levels right there. I'm also getting very similar rates to uh, when I was doing Black Salamanders, which makes sense because it's about the same XP per catch and you know same amount of traps. But I think this one is just more chill. I mean, if you exclude the occasional PKers, um, yeah, 100k about an hour. It's pretty damn good. Oh, come on, it's the same dude again? Seriously, bro. The same guy. Damn. Alright, uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm not gonna train Hunter anymore for a while. I'll probably try again tonight or something. So as you can see, I got 600 black chins. I don't know if that's enough to finish the uh, armadillo task. Nice. Here we go. Took a little while, but I managed to get myself four ecumenical keys. I think this is a good enough amount. 
uh, to do at least a few Armadillo trips if I mess up. I don't think I'll be able to master it in like the first try or anything. So yeah, having extra keys is gonna make sense. Right there? Yes! Sub 50? Wow! Well, that's definitely a personal best though for solo. Yes! Oh my god, what a PR, dude. Wow. On my 100th, uh, KC? That's uh, almost a whole 5 minute PR, dude. That's crazy. Sub 50, first one ever, dude. Awesome. Solo. So it's time to head over to Armored Dill, and uh, this is gonna be my beta setup. Probably gonna adjust this, of course. But yeah, pretty standard. I'm gonna be using Chin and Armadillo Crossbow Switch. I don't wanna lose it. So I did like four or five kills that trip. I wasn't able to keep count because a lot of shit was going on, but gonna just adjust my inventory a bit. Uh, 36 HP and what's the drop? 20k coins. I don't think I can last another kill, so not bad though. This trip was a lot better. I got a lot more kills uh, of Armadillo boss. Oh my god! What? Holy shit, pick that up right now. Oh my days. Wow, that, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Literally just got myself Armadillo chest plate. Oh man, that, that's crazy. That is a crazy motivational object to get right there. <laughs> Third trip now, I'm definitely seeing a lot of improvements and... Man, that's so nice. I'm pretty sure this ACP is going to help me out a lot. Well, that is the third trip. I think I got uh, 10 plus kills. Yeah, that felt pretty comfortable. I could have gone for one more. Alright, so I just finished up the uh, Armadillo task. There were some leftovers. And I couldn't finish it all at the boss because I ran out of chins. So now I have an idea of you know how many chins I need. So I used about 600. I think I can definitely uh, do 600 for 130 even better next time because obviously the first few trips wasn't that uh, good so lots of improvements so I think next time I can probably get away with like 600 for like a 140 task or something I'm gonna keep doing the chin method it's really nice like I can definitely get like 10-15 kills a trip easy now that I know how to do it so it's really good can't wait to get another task so i'm gonna be ending today's episode here guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video so in the next episode i'm gonna be continuing my pvm progress you know try to get all my god war stuff done get more raise drops get my skilling goals done etc so if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date definitely subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed today's episode feel free to give it a like as well i would highly appreciate that otherwise i hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days man. Take care and bye bye.